Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a circle skirt for your stuffed animal. The pattern is super simple and you can style it however you want. This was made to fit a Build-A-Bear but it will also fit a mini pillow pad. Now let's get started! To get started you'll need some pins, scissors, an elastic, and your pattern. Here are the measurements I use if you want to recreate this. This is only a fourth of the pattern here because if I cut out the whole thing it would be way too big. But to start, I'm going to take my fabric, which was actually a pillowcase that ripped, and I'm just going to fold it into fourths. And then I can just lay my pattern on top, and so when I pin it down and cut it out and unfold it, it'll end up being a perfect circle, just how I want it. So now I'm just pinning the pattern down and cutting it out. Then I'm going to set that aside and move on to my elastic. Since in this case the elastic will be showing, I wanted to paint some daisies on mine. So I made this little stamp out of craft foam that I cut into a petal shape. So I'm just brushing the fabric paint onto the stamp, and then I'm just going to stamp this down a few times until I have five petals. And I'm going to continue doing that along the entire elastic. As you can see, using the stamp, the petals weren't fully filled in and opaque, so after I did all the flowers, I just went in with my paintbrush and filled it in so it's nice and bright. And of course, painting the elastic is totally optional. After all the flowers are dry, I'm going to go in with the end of a paintbrush to make the center of the daisy. So I'm dipping this in yellow fabric paint and just adding a yellow dot to the center of each one. After that dries, we can move on to our next step. The next thing we need to do is sew together the two ends so it forms a circle. So I'm just folding this in half with the daisies facing on the inside, and then I'm just going to do a straight stitch right along the end. After that's done and you can open it up, you can see that there's a little piece of elastic sticking out. To make that a little neater, I'm pulling apart the flaps and I'm just going to sew a straight stitch on each side down so that it's perfectly flat. So as you can see, the waistband is nice and flat and we can set it aside. Now we can go back to our circle piece and I'm just going to hem the edge. So I'm going to fold the edge over twice, but you can do it once, that makes it a lot easier and I'm just going to continue doing that all the way around. Once everything is pinned down, I'm going to do a straight stitch around the entire edge. After that, we can move on to sewing our waistband to the center of our circle, but to start, I'm going to have the skirt good side facing up, and I'm just going around the center of that circle and folding over the edge just a little bit. I ended up pinning it later, but you don't have to do that. Now I'm going to grab my waistband and lay the bottom edge of the waistband on top of that folded edge we just did. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side, and I'm just going to do this in four places. And then I'm going to do a straight stitch right along the edge we just pinned down. The waistband is actually going to be a little smaller than the circumference of that inner circle, so you can just stretch it a little bit as you're sewing. And after that, you are finished! Like I said before, I did this for a Build-A-Bear, but since there is an elastic, it can actually stretch for a lot of other stuffed animals. I also put this skirt on a mini pillow pet. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe. I post new videos every Friday, so I hope to see you next time.